So I'm going to give you straight up the answer. The straight up answer is going to be C, actually. It's going to be C, 20,300 microphones. Now, this is one thing that we have to understand. Everyone, really quick question. Is it possible to have a negative rate? Is it possible to have a negative rate? So the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. So let me go ahead and actually take a brief moment on this question to explain it, because I do understand that this is a, a slightly different question, um, but it's still just the same. But I want to make sure that you see why it's still the same. So everyone, really quick from the question, it says, hey, how many microphones? So how many? So right here, how many made up the factories? initial stockpile everybody that that's a key word right there right initial what does that mean what does it mean we're looking for yeah we're looking for b does everybody agree with that again the word initial right there the initial stockpile and again that's the number of microphones is that what is that does that make sense to you that we want the initial amount what was there in the beginning okay so if you got that and you still got and you got the question wrong don't worry, you're on the right path. Absolutely on the right path, because if you can snap your attention to the question, then you can give yourself the opportunity to have a right setup. So we're looking for the initial stockpile. So we want B. We want B, the initial amount of microphones. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way. Because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So let's go ahead and understand what else is going on. Like, okay, so we may, we may know that. And you're saying, hey, coach, what gives? I know what that is, but uh, what's going on? It's about the way that you read the information. Because you, you have to understand that your rate can be positive or negative. You have to read the situation to understand what the rate is doing. So, for example, everybody, let me just, before I continue with this, before I move forward, um, hey, Keon, if you could actually go ahead and stop that, that would be great. Thank you. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. And let me stop you guys from doing that one second. But if we're talking about, take a look, take a look. We're talking about how many things it has in stock, how many microphones are in stock, right? So it has 10,180 microphones in stock after shipping units everyone quick question if we're talking about how many units we have in stock and we're talking about shipping at a certain rate shipping 220 microphones an hour everyone if we're shipping microphones out what's happening to our stock our inventory does that mean if we're shipping things out does that mean that we're gaining more microphones or losing microphones Yeah, it's going down. The number of microphones that we have is going down. So everyone, does that mean that the rate should be positive or negative? That 220 microphones per hour, should that be positive or negative? Right, because this inventory, because the stockpile of microphones is going down, the more we ship, as we ship, it goes down, that means our rate is negative. It is a decreasing rate because it's taking away from what you have. Yes or no, does that make sense? Now, I'm not asking you if it makes sense in the plugging in and solving. I'm just asking you if that one idea makes sense. 
because we are shipping microphones out, that rate of 220 microphones an hour means that our Y value, how many microphones we have, is going down. Does that make sense? I see a lot of y'all responding. I want to know everybody else because I'm not here to just cater to the top 25 people that are paying attention. There you go. Good. And a kind is good. A kind is good enough because we can keep developing that idea. So let's understand that full and well. We have 10,180 microphones after shipping. For how long, everybody? How long were we shipping for? A key on the channel is called Duran Learning. Duran Learning on YouTube. Yeah, we were shipping for 46 hours. There was a shipping uh, program there for 46 hours right there. Great. Booyah. So we have this many Y for that X. Pay attention to that. And then if we take a look at the... The shipping rate, that's right there, 220 microphones per hour. So that's your rate. But again, because the stockpile is going down, that's a negative rate. So our M should be negative 220. As long as you have M as a negative value in this problem, everything that you did before you can do it again, just making sure that that M is negative and you will get the correct answer. Let me show you. So watch this. If I set up the Y equals MX plus B, let me actually give myself a new page here. Give myself that new page, nice and easy. And I'll do Y equals MX plus B. And so take a look. What was the result? The result was right there, 10,180 microphones. The M will be negative 220. The X will be the 46 hours that we were shipping for. And the B, the initial amount that was there is what we're looking for. Now watch what happens, everybody. What's 220 times 46? Let's take care of that right here. Let's do the math here. 220 times 46, zero times six is zero. Two times six is 12. 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1 is 13. Plug that 0 in. If you're having trouble doing long multiplication, then I really I really implore you to go into my Math Basics course when that's out and practice your skills there. But here we have 0 times 4, 2 times 4, 2 times 4. Add all of that up, and we have ourselves 10,120. Some of you all may have looked at that and said that that's the answer. That is false. That's going to be 10,120, but what you may have forgotten is that that's going to be a negative, a negative 10,120 because you have a positive times a negative, and that's going to be a negative. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ASVAB party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description. Sign up. Keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So what we have now is this. 10,180 equals negative 10,120 plus B. And so to get rid of that negative 10,120 that's just sitting there, we're going to add 10,120 on both sides. So to get that done, we'll do that right here. Booyah. And yeah, we have to basically do the opposite operation. A negative number that's just sitting there is the same as subtraction. So the opposite operation would be addition. And when we do that, bam, and now we're in a position to succeed because now we can get the answer. So we're gonna have zero, eight plus two is 10, three, zero, two. And there we have it, 10, 20,300 microphones. That's how many microphones we had in the initial stockpile before the shipping started. 
because that makes sense, doesn't it? We should have more microphones when we started than what we ended with if we're shipping them out. We should start with this much, ship, 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 and then we have this much left. And hopefully in your heads, mm, that should make a little more sense. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.